What's up, y'all? So today I am just going to propagate into the realm, as always, right? So what should we talk about today? Let's talk about what is, where we're headed, what all of this encompasses. What now? Looks like a leak at the plant. Back up, back up. Leak at the plant. They had to shut her down. Is there anything I can do? No, ma'am. Thank you for your help. You're welcome, Truman. Truman! Truman! Truman, come back! So, a lot of us are living fake lives. We're living by a program. We're living by what they tell us to live by. But it's really low vibrational spells, incantations to keep you in a spot. To keep you from knowing. And then you have these orders out here, such as the Masonic orders, that are they good? Are they bad? What, what's going on with them? Good and bad. Good and evil are concepts that man created. A lot of these orders and organizations go by those because it's about knowledge at the end of it. With those being concepts that were created by men to control, what quantifies good and evil? You wouldn't know. How could you? Because Living in this world as we know it or know of it, we get fed an illusion, a false impression. get stuck in dead end jobs doing the same monotonous routine over and over again. Speaking to people we don't really care for because everyone at this moment are psychologists. Everyone has been given programming to be paranoid, look over your shoulder, don't trust those people. Hey friend, how are you? Those are programs. They were given to us. You sit here and feign ignorance as if it's something popular to do. Why? What's the point of that? Yes, witches are real. Vampires are real. Trolls are real. All of that is real. Let's take a look at this. Blemai, the headless men of ancient and medieval mythology. The Blemai were first described 2,500 years ago in the histories, written by the 5th century BC Greek historian Herodotus. Headless creatures with eyes in their chest, at least that is what the Libyans say. According to Herodotus, these creatures inhabit the western part of Libya, which is supposed to be very hilly and thickly wooded, and teems with wildlife. In addition to these headless creatures, this part of the world is said to be the home of such strange creatures as enormous snakes, donkeys with horns, and dog-headed creatures, all of which the historian tells his audience are not merely the stuff of fables.
But you don't realize that because it's fed to us as fantasy. But if those are fantasies, then why do the Masonic orders, the Hospitallers, why do the Knights do the same rituals that they've been doing for centuries? Spells. Because they are privy to knowledge that you aren't made aware of. Oh, excuse me, you are made aware of it, but it's told, it's peddled to you as if, oh, it's, it's nothing. How could I possibly be in several places at once? How could I possibly be in several places? I just can't believe Leslie's dead. How did it happen? You'll find that we run a very tight ship. Nasty way to go. What happened, Daddy? No luck catching on pillars there. No luck catching on pillars there. No luck that quick announcement before we begin. Once you enter into these pyramids of knowledge, you start to get made aware. Then you have gatekeepers, you have people who, celebrities, really, just celebrities who are in these orders. And you can tell just by looking at photographs who is in the orders, in a order, specific orders, by the hand gestures that they're throwing up. You see it as benign hand gestures. Oh, they oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. These people are in the order. You say Illuminati. You don't even know what it is. Why don't you enlighten us? I'm not your teacher. You can find this information out on your own at this moment. And that brings me to another point. If you have to ask questions, then you probably just don't know. Because if someone has to teach you information, you won't ever wake up. I'm not gonna teach you anything. I'll tell you what I know, and you can make your overall decision making based on what I've said by doing your own research, discerning with wisdom, and just going with it. But yet, you opt into an illusory system. And granted, these little platforms that we're on, hi YouTube, yes I'm talking about you, have algorithms that, oh, this can't be shown. Let's put them with this video. Let's do this. But at the end of it all, we all face judgment. Even the possessed. You work for me if you're in the pyramids. Really, you, you should know who I am. I mean, I don't mince words. I'm pretty much laying it all out there. Now what, the detriment of myself? Well, you can't do anything to me. You can't do anything to my family because they're under my jurisdiction, same as you. I'm a system administrator. I don't want to lead people. I don't want to control anything. I just want the flow of things to continue as steady as possible. I want to return the, the balance to the scales. That's it. That's all I'm here for. Is that reasonable? You think that uh, the system reset, uh, uh, we should crash everything. They're not going to get these people. The most optimistic projection you, Sam Ridd, is willing to make for the spread of the virus is this. 24 hours, 36 hours, 48 hours. We just need to give them this and they will fall into place. No, no, you don't have that right. I took that from you. You signed contracts. Once we passed December 4th of 2021, your reign was over. A total solar eclipse sweeps across Antarctica on December 4th, 2021. It's in the contract. If you want to make another deal, I'm here. I'll make a deal with you. 
I'll give you another shot because that's what we do. You think knowing about destruction and the, the end of the world is something that someone can just uh, live with? It's hard, you know? You know what's going to happen. You know you could possibly change it, but you're not able to. Do you know why? Not because we choose to, but because we go by the way the program is written. Because we programmed it. We don't want to destroy you. If that was the case, you wouldn't be here. This realm would be barren. This is the construct. It's our loading program. We're inside a computer program? Is it really so hard to believe? Your clothes are different. Your appearance now is what we call residual self-image. It is the mental projection of your digital self. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? What you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. Welcome to the desert of the real. But yet, every time, restart, more life, more green stuff. Oh my goodness. Because at each tier, you learn something new. You're inside a program and whether or not you want to believe in the multiverse as, as it stands, you make one decision and then it branches you off. You have those, but they're stored. It's information that's stored till the next go round. Because that's a lot of information to just keep running program after program after program. When we all live in an entropy based system that it will cast out a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of light, a whole bunch of energy. And as time progresses, that energy dwindles down until it gets to the point of zero. The stars and galaxies died and snuffed out. And space grew black after 10 trillion years of running down. One by one, man fused with AC, each physical body losing its mental identity in a manner that was somehow not a loss, but a gain. Man's last mind paused before fusion looking over a space that included nothing but the dregs of one last dark star and nothing besides but incredibly thin matter, agitated randomly by the tag ends of heat wearing out asymptotically to the absolute zero. And then once we get to that point, we're back to energy and light again. Yay! It's a system. You know this. Come on. If you're in the orders, you know this. We don't have time to mince words with one another. Whether or not you like me, I don't care. You will do what you are told. For it's written. Why should we listen to for it's written? Oh, please do not. Trust me. Karma will always catch up to those who go against the universe. It's part of the program. You have no choice. Just go with it. Yes, we will go to war. Yes, people will be taken. Yes, we will start again. You live these lives over again. It just depends on when. I saw that light. Oh. So.
Tercera vez que entro. At this point, what are we doing? No, I'm not going to be bothered by light, so please. So at this point, what are we doing? What are we doing? Free yourself, free your thoughts, free your minds. If you're still listening to people, if you still want all that, we need the, all the money. Look, money's cool, but that time, I, I and Grant, I don't want to scare y'all because y'all can do whatever you want at this moment. That day is over. Because if you actually really were about money, you would see the writing is on the wall for money. They're changing the system. You are either in the know or you're not. And if you're not in the know, sucks to be you. If you if you have money, you might not have it tomorrow. Just saying, they're gonna take it from you and try to manipulate you because they control you. They'll look around the room just to see who has the most emotions. We do this in the name of the Islamic Caliphate, in the name of God. Bismillah. Rahman. Melissa, I love you. Caroline, I love you. Alhamdulillah. These are God. Look out. <laughs> Turn off the sound. That's right. We don't submit to terror. We make the terror. And they will know. Oh, we got them. Yeah. Your jobs, your bosses, everyone who is in a Rotary Club, a fraternity, they know that they have to fear, that they have to push that fear base, that fear tactic. They feed off of it. Are they evil? No. It's just this realm, people. You've been given information that was falsified, covered up, blacked out, so that you just, oh, we need to be controlled. And you sit there and you let them control you. You mad, are you mad? Be mad. It's not gonna do anything. That's just a vibration in itself. Good luck to you. As for me, I know all the power in the world is at my fingertips in this realm, in this cosmos, because I know what this cosmos is. I've been at the end, I've been at the beginning. It's, it is what it is. Whether you believe me is of no consequence. I'm not a Messiah. I'm just like you. I just discerned differently. I perceived differently. I stopped listening and I just looked. And I picked up everything I needed to pick up from just watching. So now we're here. That time is past. This time is now. You are the judged. You are the chosen. I'm here to break the mirror so you shall see on what side you stand. What you see will be your choosing. That being said, I hope that you are living life full of abundance. I hope that you are manifesting. I hope that you actually are realizing that you are the one. Because if you haven't, you'll get there, okay? We're gonna live this life together. You may have fear, you may have anguish, you may have raw emotions.
but those are experiences that we are learning from. And it doesn't last. It never does. I've been through a lot of hardships, a lot of knocks in life. But the good that I've seen always, maybe not outweighs it, but you know, there's a balance, there's a balance. And it's a perfect balance. So, with that, smile on and positive vibes your way. For the light workers, keep doing your thing. For the chosen, stay on mission. And for those who know, let's get it.